How we doing everybody? This is Alex with Stop on Yellow RVing. Currently I'm in the Jayco Pinnacle 38 SSWS. This is going to be a luxury level fifth wheel by Jayco. It's got a ton of modern designs to it. This is going to be your huge living space right here. Starting off in the back, you've got kind of your classic rear living setup to it. Pull out sofa there. And then you've got your two theater seats right here. This middle piece does come up in the middle. If you do need a little extra space there. Drop in tray tables. Then you've got your heat and massage and then power recline as well on it. And there's another tray table that drops in right there. Sitting down at the theater seats this is kind of your view. And then your TV's on a televator. You've got a switch right here now. So that's going to bring up your television right across the way. And then there's going to be a smart TV in here, Sansui smart TV. And then drops right down, gives you some more window space. Then you do have the electric fireplace over here. This unit has two fireplaces in it. One in your living space, one in the bedroom. We'll get up to there. JBL sound bar. Then you've got tinted frameless windows. Then you do have the day shades as well as your night shades. Then there's all true hardwood cabinetry in here. It's got a nice glossy finish to it. Very modern home looking. Coming towards the back, got a little hidden storage on both sides. More storage right up here too. Then this one's the farmhouse interior to it. It's all solid surface countertops. Storage up here. Storage up here. Ton of storage. That's going to be your other uh, tray table that drops into your theater seats. It's all five sided drawers. Soft clothes on them. Here you got your silverware drawer. And this will slide. So then you got some more hidden storage right under there. Storage there. And this is going to be your oven here. Pretty good size. Four burner cooktop. Then you've got your GE microwave and air fryer up here. Also convection microwave. One piece style sink to it. You have the pull down sprayer nozzle. The cup wash for the soap. And then you do also have spout right there if you're rinsing out vegetables or anything like that. Coming down below. Got your dishwasher here. And then more storage. Another cool feature, you got your cutting board that pulls right out. Then you open up your trash can there. Open up your cutting board. Boom. Any scraps go right into the trash can. And then even more storage on this big island. Another big silverware drawer there. And then a little storage right over here and here. Come and check out this table. So you have this nice big kind of buffet top towards the back. There's some storage right under here as well. And then this table does pull out. So this table comes out very far. You can easily seat four, maybe even five people at this table. Slide right back in. Coming over this way. You have your closet space there, little coat closet. Converter right here. This is going to be all your fuses and circuits. Coming up towards the top here, you've got your BM Pro screen, pretty much the brains to the RV. Uh, so you're going to control all your lights, slides, leveling right from there. It's also the phone app that you get. This is going to be for your uh, ceiling fan right there. So it's a remote and you do have this nice modern looking ceiling fan. This unit is equipped with two ACs as well as the optional third right over there. So you've got your 
uh, two whisper quiets. Then you've got your drop in AC right here. If you don't get the third AC option, you do have a vent fan in the kitchen. And then coming towards the refrigerator here, you're gonna have a full residential style refrigerator. Give me a second while I get the strap undone on it. There we go. So you got a full residential style refrigerator with the ice and water on the door. And then looks like you got a little wine rack down there. More storage. All right, coming up the staircase here. You've got your master bathroom right in here. So you're gonna have little medicine cabinets on both sides, mirror in the bathroom, another medicine cabinet, foot flush toilet. You have this nice teak seat in the shower. Very good size shower to it. So you got the shower head and the sprayer nozzles right there. A little storage and a little, uh, little ceiling light or skylight, I should say. Right outside the bathroom, you've got this large storage cabinet or this is also your washer dryer prep if you did want to add the washer dryer. Coming into the master here. Nice looking master bedroom. This unit is a slide within a slide. So you can see here, this is a slide out and this is a slide out. Pretty cool design. Then you've got some more storage right in here. Those are gonna be your two uh, extra chairs that comes with it. King size mattress. And then under the beds, a bunch of storage as well. So you get a massive storage down there too. Then you've got outlets and USBs on both sides of the bed there. Then you have this nice window seat up in front with storage drawers below it. You do have that automotive bonded windshield on the front. Then you got a little storage over here and over here. This is a large bedroom. And there's your second interior fireplace there that's going to run off electricity. Storage below. And then more storage. Plenty of storage. Another Sansui Smart TV up here. You have another storage right there. Looks like you got a little charging station here. A switch if you're using your dryer or your fireplace when you're not drawing too much energy. So yeah, beautiful unit. Give me another pan through here. Like I said, very modern feel to it. This one's the farmhouse interior. I think they've really done quite a good job for 2025. Well, you do have your uh, little sweeper vac right there too. Coming on the outside of it. So this is gonna be 43 feet one inch overall. That's going to be 15,866 pounds dry weight. This is a sizable RV. So towards the front of it, you got your front cap with the lights in it there, your windshield, you got your Moride pin box on it, big storage space down below, your prep for a generator as well, if that's something you want to add to it. So all the wiring's right there. Coming around this way, as you can see, you've got 120 pounds of propane on here. So you get three 40 pound bottles, one on this side, two on the other. And that's industry leading. This one's got the griddle option on it. So this is going to click it over off the back. Then you have that halo griddle in here. Uh, part of your central vac system. And then this will control your outside speakers, outlets in here. And you can look up below here, nice and well insulated. You got all this nice astro foil up under here. Spray port here for water. Get your little thermistor, your temperature sensor. There are a couple of those throughout the RV. 
Then you've got your water heater here. Let's take a look. Trying to see the size of it. 12% more hot water production. Uh, this is a 20, no, 20 gallon per hour hot water tank. You got your JBL speaker right there. You've got your Uniroyal H rated tires as well. Nice grab bar for your inside. And then you've also got the steps right there too. Those are gravity assisted steps. Then you've got your outside TV right here. So it's got three TVs on it. Two power awnings, one here, one over there. It's got like a red tint to it. I don't know if this changed colors or not. And these nice square tinted windows, as you can see, very good for privacy. You can't really see inside there right now. This is your J port. This is where that griddle is going to click into. Then there's going to be power outlet, cable output if you did want to do another TV out here. Then you've got that iconic pinnacle back cap to it. Ladder to get up to your roof, which is rated for up to 4,500 pounds. This is going to be your power cord here. It's on a power reel. I'm just going to get another profile of the side of it. This is going to be back of your refrigerator here. Uh, this is your furnace. Then looking down here, that's going to be for your uh, offshoot for your sewage and gray water. Then you've got six point auto leveling on here too. Then you're going to have your water system here. So there's going to be a Nautilus P4 system with the outside shower. Then you've got the auto leveling control out here too. Then all of your tank releases. And then here's your halo griddle. So that's going to come with it. And it's got the option. Then you also have this Nuvo water filtration and softening system on here too. It's going to be your other propane bottles. So you got your propane bottles there. And then your Dexter tow assist with ABS and sway mitigation. And this is that slide within a slide I was talking about. So pretty cool design to it. Yeah, that's been a good overview of the 2025 Jayco Pinnacle 38 SSWS. Once again, Alex, so stop on Yellow RVing. Like, subscribe, watch another video. I'll be back with more 2025s. Thank you.